Hey, it's Alejandro Duarte from Vadin, and in this video I'm going to show you how to automatically configure a dark theme in your web applications when the user has selected that dark mode in the operating system settings. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do it in an HTML document and then we'll do it uh, with Vadin Flow in Java, okay? Dark mode. Let's add something here very quickly. This is a demo app, and let's add a button as well. Let's open this document in the browser, nothing special, really. And let's create a dark mode now. So, style, body, let's use some light color like this, and the background color that is dark, like this one. So now the um, the HTML document looks like this. Now we want uh, the page look like this when we select the dark theme here in the settings of uh, or the operating system settings. How can we do that? So that's actually very easy to do. We need to use something called at rules. She is kind of a selector or a block of code that controls how CSS behaves. And we're going to use the media rule. Now here you can uh, use uh, media queries and especially we can use something called um, this is called uh, media feature and for those they need to be um, in parentheses. And the one we need here is prefers color scheme and we can test for some value for example dark. So what this means is if the browser reported that the user prefers the dark theme, then use these uh, rules that we are going to put over here. So those are precisely these ones. It's kind of the dark theme. Mm. And um, that's it really. So if we go to, well, let's uh, reload here. We go to the settings and I change to dark, it changes to dark. And same with light. Of course, if you want to do the a light theme, then you can duplicate this, call it here light, and then possibly do the opposite over here. Right? Should work exactly in the same way. Let's see. There we go. So it is um, is that easy really with uh, HTML? Now this works because we are not maybe not using web components. If you are using a library of web components like the one provided by Vadin, so a set of web components here, like I don't know, like uh, the Vadin button, etc. Uh, the way you control this is different. So I have a Vadin application running already with some views views over here and these are web components right so the way you configure those is different depending which kind of uh, web components you are using in the case of Vadin what you have to do I'll show you here real quick is to change this uh, theme um, attribute in the HTML tag to dark so now it, it shows uh, the dark variant it's called invading so that's what you have to do so we we need to do that in uh, in JavaScript so it's dynamic now for that we are going to create a new directory here JS and the new file um, I don't know what can we call this theme selector or something like that and in this file what we want to do is to query again uh, use um, um, or use a media query. So remember, we need the parentheses here. So we need this thing here in a string, and this is going to match. Or we can test now if the browser has reported that the preferred color scheme is dark, and we can listen to changes in this. 
uh, in this media query. So here we can specify change, and then we can do something in a function. So what should we do here? We can use again the same call to match media, and now we can test because here we're just adding an event listener when this changes and here what we want to, to know if it's actually there so if the browser reported that this is a boolean value so if it reported we can assign uh, a value to this expression uh, of for example dark if not light which is what Vaden uses now we can assign this to a variable and then use uh, document document element which is the html tag if you wish set attribute remember it was a theme what i did in the browser just uh, some seconds ago and wherever this was evaluated to now we need to load this uh, javascript file if you're using just the web components then you can load it as usual inviting uh, flow the way you do it is by using an annotation that you can set or add in the in the layout of your application so that it, it so that it applies to all the all the views that's what we're going to do here that was js theme selector.js and uh, and yeah that should work let's see if it works let's go here and if we change to dark, then the theme changes here for all the views. Good, so it seems to be working. And if I change back to light, it also works. Now, let's say I'm in the dark mode in the operating system, and I request the application. It's, it, it's not working, because what we did here was just to add an uh, event uh, listener, so when it changes, but it's not it's not changing when I'm really just requesting the 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 application right so we need to uh, do something else which is uh, extract this function or convert it to a named function applied theme or more clearly system theme or something like that it doesn't matter and then we call that apply system theme so when we load this JavaScript file, it's going to run this and set the, the correct um, the correct uh, theme. So it's actually loading. And since we were in dark, let's do it again here. Then it loads the dark uh, variant is called inviting of the theme. And this is still working as we want it. Let me know if you have any questions about this topic or ideas on what to cover in future videos. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.